Easter Island or Rapa Nui is one of the most isolated inhabited places in the world. Located in the Pacific, it lies over 1900 kilometers east of the closest inhabited Polynesian island and 3700 kilometers west of South America. It is most famous for its nearly 1000 monumental statues known as Moai, created by the early Rapa Nui people. In popular opinion, the construction of these statues led to severe environmental degradation with massive deforestation destabilizing an already fragile ecosystem. This allegedly triggered a period of resource scarcity, famine, warfare and even cannibalism, culminating in a significant population decline. However, a recent genetic study offers new insights into this controversial narrative. The so-called ecocide hypothesis was popularized by the 1994 film Rapa Nui and Jared Diamond's 2005 book Collapse – How Societies Choose to Fail or Succeed. According to this hypothesis, before Europeans arrived on Easter Island, the Rapa Nui experienced social turmoil due to overpopulation, resource mismanagement and ecological changes. Stephen A. Royal, in his book Islands, Nature and Culture, asserts that by the time Europeans first visited the island in 1722, 21 species of trees and all land birds had become extinct due to a combination of over-harvesting, over-hunting, rat predation and climate change. The island had been largely deforested, with no trees taller than 3 meters. This deforestation left the Rapa Nui unable to build seaworthy vessels, severely limiting their fishing capabilities. According to this theory, the trees were used as rollers to transport the statues from the quarry at Rano Rakaku. Deforestation also led to soil erosion, causing a decline in agricultural production. The loss of land and seabirds as food sources worsened the situation. Barbara A. West in the Encyclopedia of the Peoples of Asia and Oceania notes that just before European arrival, the population had dropped from a peak of around 15,000 to about 2 or 3,000. This narrative has often been cited as a cautionary tale about the dangers of over-exploiting natural resources, though recent evidence calls this version of events into question. A new genetic study conducted by researchers from, among others, the University of Copenhagen and the University of Lausanne analyzed the genomes of 15 Rapa Nui individuals who lived between 1670 and 1950. These remains, housed at the Musée de l'Homme in Paris, were expected to show a genetic signature of population decline, such as a sudden drop in genetic diversity. Surprisingly, no such evidence was found. Instead, the data indicated a stable population growth from the 13th century until European contact in the 18th century, challenging the idea of a dramatic pre-contact collapse. The study not only disputes the collapse theory, but also highlights the resilience of the Rapa Nui people, who managed to survive environmental challenges for centuries, only to face disruption after European colonization in 1722. Additionally, the research helps address another long-debated issue regarding Rapa Nui history, whether the Polynesian ancestors of the Rapa Nui had contact with indigenous Americans before European arrival. Although long-distance ocean voyages may have ended after the island's deforestation, archaeological and genetic evidence suggests that such voyages to the Americas did occur. Previous studies, examining small amounts of ancient Polynesian DNA, had dismissed the idea of transpacific voyages before European arrival, suggesting that the inferred contact, based on present-day genetic data, was mediated by European colonial activity. However, the new study, which analyzed high-quality genomes from 15 Rapa Nui individuals, found that about 10% of the Rapa Nui gene pool is of indigenous American origin. Crucially, the study indicates that this contact occurred between the 13th and 15th centuries. While it remains unclear where this interaction took place, 
It raises the possibility that the Rapa Nui reached the Americas before Christopher Columbus. In sum, this new research helps resolve long-standing debates and challenges previously held assumptions about Rapa Nui history.